In the aftermath of last summer's devastating wildfires, one Ben man is turning the ruins into art. Jack Hirsch has the story. Troy Stith uses a medium in his artwork that might not be so common. I started walking through these forests of charcoal to where I realized why am I not using what's available to me out here. Like a phoenix rising through the ashes, Stith takes charcoal he finds hiking through burnt forests and uses it to draw. What I'm trying to do is kind of bring back the memory of the forest through drawing it again with its ashes. Stith, who lives in Bend and works at a cannabis grow, says it was a perfect opportunity to reuse the materials from a seemingly dead forest. For me, I walk through there and see a lot of beauty and opportunity for new growth. He walked me through how he does one of the drawings. It all starts with just more or less a smattering of charcoal across like this. He says the, the scenes are often inspired by where he finds the charcoal. Sometimes I also like to draw dead trees in the foreground as well because that's where my charcoal comes from. Stith has done a lot of different artwork before and says the uniqueness of the wild charcoal adds to its appeal. A normal piece of charcoal will be flat processed charcoal like this, but a wild piece of charcoal will have a lot of texture of the trees and such. With each rub and stroke, adding light down. to the page. So you're bringing the tree back to life through the stroke of using its own texture in order to bring it in part of the scene. And all it takes him is just a few minutes, either at home or in the forest. And I mean, obviously I'll keep refining and that's how you kind of get more of these details. He sometimes sells his work on Facebook and Instagram. In Bend, Jack Hirsch, News Channel 21.